Fans, welcome to this week's edition of After the Bell. I'm your host, the fan advocate, Terry Bodie, And as you can see, I'm surrounded by two of the most strategic gentlemen in Ohio Valley Wrestling. The leader of Crimson's Army, Crimson. General. General of Crimson's Army, Crimson. And of course, the general of the platoon of Wayne, Jason Wayne. Gentlemen, this week on OVW television, we saw a forming of a union between you two. Would you care to elaborate on what brought you two together? Would I care to elaborate? Yes, I would care to elaborate. But first, let me say, you should be honored that you were the first to interview us. CNN would kill for this opportunity, but instead you're getting it. And this, what, what are we doing standing anyway? Why don't you show two war veterans some respect? Go get us some chairs. My, I got a bad knee, you know that. Come on. Well, he heard it in war. Here, I'll hold this. Go. Well, well, okay. Believe this guy. Hurry up. Hurry up. I don't know why you're staring at us. Look at this. This is how a true war veteran is supposed to be respected. We fought. We bled for this country. This is the least you could do. You move this slow in the trenches, you would have done got shot. Hurry up. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead and pull yourself up one. Right in the middle. Right in the middle here. Yeah. Thank you. We'll run this for you. Don't worry. Thank you. Gentlemen, now, the chair is to your liking, sir. Would I care to elaborate? Listen, we didn't, form, we didn't form a union. This isn't the Civil War, okay? This is 2012, and if you're going to cough on me, I suggest you cough that way. I don't need the croup. Got me? This ain't the Civil War. It's 2012. You can consider me and, me and General Wayne over here, you can consider us the new militia, okay? Two giant forces in OVW merged against the common enemy. Do you know who the common enemy is? No. The common enemy, the governing body of Ohio Valley Wrestling. The office. Trailer Park Trash, Danny Davis. You, you wear a suit, you can be included. Those stupid commentators over there. Anybody in the back, Al Snow, Kid Cash, Doug Williams, it doesn't matter. You witnessed what happened at the last Saturday Night Special. I was robbed of my title. If this was back in Sudan when I was on my special ops mission, that wouldn't have happened. I had people watching my back. I dragged 72 men out of a bunker that was infiltrated by terrorists. You understand that? Where were you in the war of Sudan? Um, I didn't know we were at war with them, but that's okay. Of course didn't you, you didn't. Of course you didn't, and that's the problem. That's the problem in America today. Nobody knows anything that we go through. No respect. Nobody respects the actions that we go through for people like you so America can sleep safely at night. No one understands. You know what this man did in World War II? World, Tell World War II? Tell him. Yes, World War II. Did he stutter? I, you don't Were you in the trenches of World War II? You ever heard of the Battle of the Bulge? Yes, uh, I'm sure you have. The hill up against the German army. One man took them all out. I led my men on the beaches of Normandy. What have you done? This man's a purple heart winner. I'm a silver star, bronze star, medal of honor recipient. Do you understand those words? Do you know what it's like to be denied health care because you have a purple heart and no one will insure you? Do you know what that's like? Don't you? I do. No, do you, think, do you think they care about us? You know what happened when we got back? You think anyone was there waiting on the tarmac when we landed to give us a round of applause or shake our hands? No. We got to come back and we got to watch Fox News. We got to watch CNN of all these hippies rallying around saying, we don't want war. We don't want war. When we're the ones bleeding over there watching our buddies getting blown up to protect your asses. You understand that? Whoa, 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 whoa. As I appreciate your service, 
lower your tone country. a little bit. Take a little bass out of that. I appreciate your service to our As country. As you should. You should. Everybody will appreciate every person who's ever put on a Why am I holding this? Why, why am I holding this? He can't this? do his job. That's why. All the fans respect every person who's put on a uniform and stood in, a, it stood in harm's way to protect us here. Uh, that's not true. These OVW fans, these wrestling fans are the worst people I've ever met in my life. The most disrespectful, ungrateful pieces of you know what. They don't give a damn I was over there. They don't give a damn I fought in Korea for five years in the trenches taking grenades. They don't give a damn, Terry Bodie. Do you? General, with all due respect, please, all I'm trying to do is conduct an interview. You're right, you're right, you're right. We're talking about today. We're talking about wrestling. We're not talking about back in Grenada when I was kicking ass. We're talking about right now, we're talking about Ohio Valley Wrestling and why me and Jason Wayne have formed this militia. And it's simple. We're taking over. You're taking over, you're taking over entire, that's your goal is to take over Ohio Valley Wrestling? What does that mean, General Wayne? Do I need to spell it out for you? We're taking over, we're taking over Ohio Valley Wrestling, just what you just said. You just said it. Why do you need to ask me what that means? There's a lot of, there's a lot of injustice going on around here. We are two red-blooded Americans that have fought for our country. You don't know what that is. This cameraman doesn't know what that means. None of these stupid people know what that means. There are veterans in the audience every No, show the there is time. not. No. You know, you sit here and claim here that I'm a weasel. I know you've been saying it. I know these fans have been saying it. You say I cheat. I cheat to win. That's not true. Any red-blooded war hero would not cheat and doesn't have to cheat. You can compare me to General Patton. General Patton? Never told a lie, never cheated in my life, never had to. Neither has General Wayne over here. When I come out here each and every week and I hear fans say, give me your dog tag, what kind of respect is that? But you gave them the dog tag. What's your trademark? Shut, Shut up. up. That was a different time. That was back before I saw the blatant disrespect that fans here and all over the world have for me. All they cared about was getting a stupid dog tag. Do they know what he had to risk? Do they know, do they know what he had to risk wearing those dog tags? The fans understood the symbolism. Oh, they, no. they understood the symbolism. They looked forward Lower to Lower your voice. I'm going to choke you with that microphone cord if you don't stop it. Gentlemen, I'm just trying to make my point so that you can hear me. That's all I'm trying I'm to do. I'm sitting right next to you. I can hear you. Raise your voice again, and it's going to get real ugly. This is, this is it. This is the facts. This is a hostile takeover. The Crimson Army, the platoon of Wayne, we've joined forces. We've signed the peace treaty, if you will, okay? Our goal, our intent is to right the wrongs going on in OVW. I've been screwed out of my OVW heavyweight title. This man, for God's sakes, this hero, American hero, hasn't even been granted an opportunity at any kind of title in this company. How is that fair? You're How is that fair? You're hey, I'm talking. Again, You're right, I am a former OVW heavyweight champion. And why have I not been given the opportunity to regain my title? Why? We're not talking about former. We're not talking about yesterday. We're not talking about three months ago. What can you do for me now? What can you do for me, Terry Bodie? Can you give him a title match? Can you put him up against that punk Jamin Ol Olavincia, whatever the hell his name is, for the TV title next week? I can't, but I better... No, you can't. So stop going into the past and trying to correct us. We know what the hell we're talking about. Well, what I was going to say, General, was that I'm sure that if the fans wanted to see a match like that, that see, they that's, don't yeah. want to see a match like that because they know what will happen. They know that I would dominate. They don't want to see Crimson get a rematch because they know he will dominate. They know that there is no one in OVW that can stop us alone, let alone now that we've joined forces. This is like back in World War II when I joined forces with Winston Churchill. And that, what? How is that so hard to believe? This is your first mistake. Terry Bode, you, you keep bringing up the fans. At this point in our lives, 
The fans mean absolutely nothing. Nothing. We're going to do what we need to do to get what we want. And that's it. And there's nobody in this company that's going to stop us. Your hero, Rob Terry, he's out possibly permanently. There ain't anybody else that stands up to me and him. You ain't going to do it. Trailer Park Trash ain't going to do it. Danny Davis ain't going to do it. Nobody. Nobody can stop us. This is over.